Well, hello. Welcome. I'm going to teach a tip today because someone asked me. Someone was on my site and was looking at a couple of videos I'd done about workflow and said, what are your presets, Scott? Like, do you want to share them? And I said to myself, a YouTube video. I could do that. Another YouTube video. Okay, so I am uh, presently working on some wedding pictures I did in San Francisco. And here they are. Pretty. And so uh, these are my unedited, and I say unedited, but they kind of are. See, the thing is, I shoot in RAW, NEF, as you can see. I'm pointing to the screen. Let me put my cursor over on the screen. Here you are, NEF. RAWs aren't really what you see on the back of your camera. What you see on the back of your camera is a JPEG. And um, so therefore, uh, when you import them into, like I have, Lightroom 4, they do need some editing. They do need something to them because you need to make them like the, what the JPEG was. So I guess that's somewhat what I'm trying to do, but I've got my own little style and my own look that I have for the edits and stuff like that. And so that's what I'm uh, attempting to do. And so let's go and look over here in the develop. And um, so here you go these are them so if you were asking here they are um, now um, my, my biggest things shadows highlights contrast profile okay so um, let's see uh, I do have the exposure up a little bit I, I'm not sure I guess it's working for me so but I think it's because I move up my shadows so much um, and I uh, move down my blacks and oh, I, I, that wouldn't make sense like I'm moving down my highlights it just works I guess I shoot a little bit low and so up way high on shadows this is you couldn't do in Lightroom 3 you couldn't do highlights because what they had in Lightroom 3 really sucked but now, like, friggin', I'll go way down on highlights and the pictures still look nice and bright and crisp instead of this muddy mess like it was back in the day. Um, I thought I had my vibrance up a little higher, so plus 20. Eh. I don't really ever switch my saturation. That's never part of my import preset. And um, I thought I had maybe, the, I liked a little kiss of red in the shadows. Uh, you don't really ever see it so much in the pictures. It's not really something that happens much. And, and here's my opinion. If it's something that you do to the majority of your pictures, if you're always going back to the developer and you're like, oh, a little bit of kiss of red or some extra vibrance can't help hurt and, and, and a bunch more sh uh, up on the shadows and stuff like that or oh, I'm always having to do a little bit of noise reduction, just a tad, just a little bit. If that's something you do to 60, 70, 90 percent of your pictures, especially if it's 90 percent of your pictures, do it in the import preset because that means that you're going to be doing less of it um, when you're editing. It, it just helps you out and makes things a little bit faster in the editing process. So I do this stuff, all this stuff, uh, on most of my pictures, and some of it it doesn't work. And that's the 30, 40, or 10, or 5%. I, I rarely change these things, so for me it's like 5% of the time. I'm like, no, not that much shadow, you know? But that's rarely. So don't go saying, well, it doesn't always work for me. It doesn't have to always work for you to be an appropriate import preset, just like 55% of the time as it look good. And I suggest doing an import preset because then when you are reviewing your pictures and looking at them and going is this a good picture or not you can look at them uh, at their best at that moment instead of just trying to figure out what is it really going to look like just trying to map you know like I, I think I can understand what where it's going have them the import preset and you'll know a little bit better of where they're going okay and the biggest thing <laughs> for those that kept on watching is my camera pro calibration profile. It, I think it's stuck on like Adobe Standard and I set it to Vivid and it just mm, that's my look that's 
how I like my pictures. And so therefore, camera vivid. By the way, only available on certain Nikon cameras. I think there's cheats out there to like mimic that. Um, and maybe that's why I'm still with Nikon. Besides, I really like the cameras. And, okay, so then when you get it and you're set and you're like, ooh, I like this one. And then you go, what did I change there? I didn't do clarity, sharpening, saturation, gradient. I didn't do effects or lens correction. And I can go import this one. I don't know. And then you just create it. And then when you are in, um, when you do your import, you can go over here to develop settings and go to import this one which should be somewhere around here import this one and it will import all those pictures with that setting and again change them up but at least you're closer to where you should be and that's a tip send more and maybe I'll answer them maybe I won't but I'll probably try to get around to them eventually one day I've got a lot of videos to share right now so thanks, Kristen, for the suggestion. Hope you enjoyed the show.